a question I get asked all the time. How do you make a perfect latte? How about we do it together? Check it out. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Colleen, in case you don't know me. And today we are going to be going over the steps of how to make a latte. I will be using the trendy tea press, our party frother, perfect cup spoon, tea timer, and very blueberry lung tea. So let's get started. First thing I want to talk about is how to clean the tea press. Before I put any liquid in there, I want to show you how to clean it. This entire bottom piece comes off. So all you're going to do is spin it. And it comes off. And then it comes apart into three pieces. One, two, three. So you'll be able to clean all the little nooks and crannies. Sometimes it gets a little caked in here. Sometimes your mesh has a little bit of yucks on it. And even sometimes on the top, it has a little bit of yuck. So let's put this back together and make the tea now. The first couple of times that you take this apart, it may be a little bit hard to take apart, but trust me, this will come right apart. You will not break it. So give it a good twist and get it to come off. Like I said, the first couple of times is a little bit harder, um, simply because it hasn't been taken apart yet. So we just make sure it's nice and tight. And now let's make some tea. First thing I'm gonna do is take my, let's turn you down just a whisker that you can see better. Okay. So I'm gonna take my tea, which is in my stacking tin, and I'm gonna take two and a half teaspoons. I have two cups of water, and since we're adding a little bit of milk, I wanna make it a little bit stronger. So I'm gonna add just a little bit extra. So the first thing I always, always do is shake my tea because sometimes things settle to the bottom. So I wanna shake it around inside my tin or inside my bag and make sure everything is mixed together really well so that when I take out a scoop, I get a little bit of everything. So let's do, let's do three. So these are nice big scoops so that it has a nice flavor when I add the milk at the end. And then we just add our cold, add our hot water right out of my kettle. Now, like I said, this was about two cups. So I'm just going to do that and return my top. Now, it's important that you probably can't see it very well, but there is a pour spout. I don't want the pour spout to be open yet. I want it to be turned to the side so that all the steam can stay inside my cup. So we are going to set our timer. Turn it all the way to the end, and then turn it back to the type of tea we're drinking. Oolong. Now this is gonna steep, and we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, our tea is done. So the timer just went off, but I wanna show you how giant this oolong tea is before I press it down. Huge, huge pieces of oolong. So all you do with the tea press is press it down. What now happens is all of the leaves are here trapped on the bottom and it stops steeping. So this is really important. This tea can now sit here and it will not continue to steep. So it will not get bitter. It will not reuse these leaves over and over and over. It stopped it right there. Right now it's done. We're going to set that aside for a second and we are going to... Now that our tea is done and set aside, we are going to froth our milk. This is our milk frother, our party frother. And inside it is a little bit of milk and this mesh. So what's going to happen is you're going to be pumping air into your liquid, your milk, which is what will give it that really nice froth. So I've got about two thirds of a cup of milk. We're just gonna pour that in and we're gonna froth. So you're just gonna pump it up and down, up and down, up and down. And you're gonna do this for 30 seconds, 30 seconds to a minute. It depends on the type of milk that you have, 
how easy it will froth. If you have kind of a nut or an oatmeal, it takes a little bit longer because there's not as high fat content. If you have a whole milk, it takes less time. Um, you can even do like half and half, you could do whipping cream, you can do heavy cream, any of those things. And you can notice here that I'm starting to get some froth up here and I can feel it start to pull. So what that's telling me is we're starting to get a froth. I want it just a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to do it just a little bit longer. This is all you do. Let's froth it up and down. No need for fancy contraptions. This works very easily, very quickly, and you don't need any electronics to do this. You do not need anything to froth your milk. So now my little trick is let this sit for a minute. This needs to sit because it kind of like hardens almost. So when you pour it out, it pours out nice and thick and juicy. So we're gonna let this sit for just a minute. Now that we have let our milk sit, we are gonna put this latte together. So I've got my double bubble cup. We are going to take our tea press, turn the spout so that we can pour out our liquid. Throughout that beautiful blueberry tea. I'm going to give it a little bit of room on the top for this nice froth that we have. So here we are with our blueberry tea, our oolong, our blueberry oolong. And we're just going to give this a little tap to get some of that milk off of the top because it's nice and thick. And then we will set that aside. And we will pour this into our cup so that you'll notice this has a really nice lip on it so it's really easy to pour but it's also a little tiny bit sharp so when you're cleaning it be careful um, because it is a very thick all right and there we have our beautiful blueberry latte this is simply heavenly. You can sprinkle a little sweet blueberry matcha on top just for a little bit of green, but look at how beautiful this blue is. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. It is so good. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I hope you enjoyed this latte demo. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment below, and follow our page. Have a good day.